Hello everyone, this is Anton Duck 2, welcome to another mod overview, this time on Compressium. We're looking at both the Fabric and Forge versions. Uh, the Forge one does have a lot more at the moment, um, but Fabric will eventually get its planned blocks in the future. Uh, as you can tell, I was just experimenting with the different types of blocks and how much um, pick level you need. Um, but yeah, obviously, as you can tell, You've got access to cobble, sand, gravel, and stone, and stone up to nine times. And obviously the recipe is pretty much just three by three of it, constantly up to nine, which obviously you can use these just for compression storage purposes to fit inside a chest if you wanted to, or just for decoration if you were to just lay it out. Um, otherwise though, you will need an iron pickaxe or higher for at least stone and cobble, um, regardless of tier, um, sorry, compression, um, from 1 all the way to 9, you will need an iron pickaxe to break these, and if you can kind of see the breaking texture there. Obviously, you've got a knife there. So, an iron pickaxe or higher is needed to break these. Uh, other than that, when it comes to sand and gravel, you can still break it with your fist. You don't need a shovel to pick them up, which is nice. Obviously, as you can tell, the end stone does have a work in progress texture, or temporary one, so it should be the same the entire time, but at the moment, it is in the current version. Um, otherwise though, we'll just check the Forge one real quick, and I'll also check what we can support in that one due to the um, additional blocks that I can use for it. Obviously with the Forge edition, you have the oh, Forge version, sorry, um, you have access to pretty much the same, except for the additional um, uh, mineable blocks or ores, I guess. Um, and you can see each one here from the regular to the compressed, like so. Uh, again, obviously, they're pretty much crafted exactly how you'd expect, except when going through things in JEI, it can be kind of hard to tell, because uh, it can sometimes jump around to the lower one. I think that's sometimes gravel, so um, but I'm not sure. Uh, otherwise, though, again, we'll demonstrate with the blocks or beacons, or four of these. And while you obviously don't need to use these with a beacon, if you wanted to do so for whatever reason, you can. There you go. Uh, otherwise though, that's pretty much it. Uh, we'll actually try a pick on other materials because you never know um, what you may be able to break each of these without finding out. So let's go to survival here and we'll set time to get any sort of mobs to attack us. So uh, we'll go from this end, so it seems to be that you can still break that normally, you can still break that back end. If we go up a bit, I'm assuming it seems to be that you can break it. No? Okay, so you can. Okay. It's not like the fabric version, you can't. Unless that was obviously just tweaked, and probably will apply to the fabric version eventually. Um, to be the same as the forge one. So we just happen to get up here. Um, same for iron onwards, it seems, as you technically need the higher to pick to break the regular storage blocks, but it seems to just be that you can just break these easily with a wooden pick or higher. Um, no, so you just kind of break it normally, so. uh, but it's a lot faster if you happen to use the other. So, good difference there if you're uh, looking between the two. Um, but yeah, 
for what could eventually happen in Fabric's version, I guess. Thanks so much for watching, and goodbye.